Welcome back to Better Kansas City. This is a colorless gas that's lighter than air, but it is unstable, especially when you add fire into the mix. Jetpack Jason from Mad Science is here with a little bit of bubble fire magic. So let's yeah. go off the top. And uh, what is hydrogen and can we actually make it? Yes, and so hydrogen is like the uh, it's most abundant chemical or most abundant element in the universe. We can find wow. it just about everywhere. Like, I have hydrogen, you have hydrogen, we all have hydrogen. So we're <laughs> gonna make some hydrogen, okay. all right? So we can use it. Um, we're gonna use some of this stuff here. Right now I have some aluminum foil inside of there. Oh, by the way, don't try this at home. Okay, so, yeah. and what role will this play with the aluminum foil? So this is gonna start our chemical reaction here. There's gonna be kind of a complex reaction in here. It's not too bad, but what's really gonna happen, so nothing's really happening yet. We're just gonna dump enough of that in there. There we go. And then once we add our water, water has two parts hydrogen, right? That's mm -hmm. the H2 whenever you see H2O. So that's our hydrogen, and then we have oxygen in here also. So we're gonna throw some water on inside of there, and that's gonna start our chemical reaction, and it's gonna start separating that hydrogen from the rest of the chemicals. And we're gonna have some other stuff that's left over in here. So we're gonna cork this and shake it up just a little bit here. And our chemical reaction, you can see it's starting to happen. We're starting to get some bubbles inside of there and our balloon. And is this starting. balloon gonna blow up all by itself? It is, yeah, okay. it's, gonna be, it's gonna be fantastic. And this usually takes a little while for this to happen. So instead of us standing here for you know a couple minutes waiting for a balloon. We need to get to the fire yeah, parts. We yeah, gotta move we, over here. You really want to get to fire, huh? Yeah, I mean, all who right. doesn't, right? This right. is the TV magic, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we have a balloon that's already full okay. of hydrogen right here. Um, Pre-made, right? You We've can't got our safety goggles on. Exactly, and I'm gonna hand you this glove. Mm -hmm. This is, you're, you're in charge of handling here the bubbles go. here, all right? So you can dip your hand, go ahead and dip your whole hand in that solution there, there we go. It's gonna get a little messy. That's gonna help the bubbles stick to your hand here. I'm gonna walk around to the other side again. Okay. And I'm gonna handle the balloon over here. Now, when I turn this on, we're gonna start getting our hydrogen bubble up through our solution here. And this is a uh, fun, you know, regular soap and water solution here. All right, here and we let, go. Let's just talk about this. You, yeah. you have tried this at home before. Maybe. Maybe. At, this is lab, our first time in experiment. In a lab setting, not at home. Because <laughs> okay. you're not do gonna do it at home, right? There we go. All right, we're starting to get ourselves some bubbles here. And I'm gonna have tip this over just a little bit. Let you catch and some I'm, of those. I'm catching the bubbles. Right you now. are catching okay. the bubbles. Yeah, you are catching some hydrogen now. You're getting some hydrogen out of there, and some of these may actually start floating, which would be awesome because hydrogen is lighter than air. Kind of depends on our solution if we can get it to float. There we go. You Maybe know. if we talk real nice to it. Yeah, please float. float. Bubbles. Please Let's float. go. That's looking pretty good. That's a good start here for your your first bubble handling experience, bubble okay. wrangling, if you will. All right, are you ready? Okay. Wendell, hold that way out. There you go. On, on the count of three. Are you ready? One, I'm ready. Let's go. Two, three. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, I was not ready for that. <laughs> right? Okay. Uh, you want to try it again? Yeah, let's oh, do it again. Of course. Of course. All right, course. we're going to get ourselves a little, few more bubbles. This might be even better, I think. So, you know, what, it, what in science is being exercised right now? So, when we saw that, you know, yeah, big flame pop up. That's a great question. So, we just had a really, really quick reaction. We had some high, we had H2, our hydrogen here, uh -huh. right? Combined with the oxygen in the air. And so, we got a lot of energy, you could see, in the terms of fire there. And then my bubbles are quitting coming out of here. That's They're all right. Doing great. I think we got good. There we go. We don't need and quite then, as big of a flame. <laughs> you know what? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we don't we don't want the hair product yeah. getting any. Yeah. So and then the other thing that we got a lot of energy and a lot of heat out of mm -hmm. that. But one really cool thing that we got was some water vapor out of the deal. Because oh. we combined our H2 with our O and we made water again. And what deal. does hydrogen actually make? Because one of the things it makes is water. Right. And we can make a lot of things like sugars, um, so many of like the, the fuels that we're using in this, we have carbon and hydrogen together in that. Okay. All right, you ready for this? Yeah, Here we go. go. One, two, three. Oh, whoo. <laughs> Man, and when it kind of pops, you get some of that water residue. Yeah. That you, can, you can really feel it popping It's just soap and water, it shouldn't hurt you. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank goodness we had the goggles and the safety items. Exactly. Man. Our other balloons and so, hard. yeah, for sure. Let's not try this at home. Yeah. And are we, are we doing anything with this balloon? Well, I tell you what we can do. We can go ahead and cap this off here. We're going to use a uh, good old binder clip here. Okay. I don't know how much time we have here, but we, if we have enough time, we can go ahead and. We just got 15 of, seconds. Oh, about. you know what? Well, we might just have to do this one at home then. I was going to say we can maybe make a couple more bubbles out of this one. But. If you look, our balloon is kind of trying to float here. Wow. And that's because it is lighter than air. Okay, so. and that just once again represents that hydrogen is lighter than air. Right, exactly. Thank you so well, much, Jetpack. Thank you. We appreciate it.